2 Peter chapter 3 verses 8 through 14. We wait for the new heavens and the new earth. Do not ignore this one fact beloved, that with the Lord one day is like a thousand years and a thousand years like one day. The Lord does not delay his promise, as some regard delay, but he is patient with you, not wishing that any should perish but that all should come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come like a thief, and then the heavens will pass away with a mighty roar and the elements will be dissolved by fire, and the earth and everything done on it will be found out. Since everything is to be dissolved in this way, what sort of persons ought you to be, conducting yourselves in holiness and devotion, waiting for and hastening the coming of the day of God, because of which the heavens will be dissolved in flames and the elements melted by fire. But according to his promise we await new heavens and a new earth, in which righteousness dwells. Therefore, beloved, since you await these things, be eager to be found without spot or blemish before him, at peace. Second Peter was written around 66 to 67 AD, most likely from Rome just before Peter's martyrdom. Second Peter was written to the same group he wrote to in First Peter. Peter's purpose in writing the second letter was that he had received reports about false teachers traveling about Asia Minor. He was warning them about these false prophets or teachers. They deliberately ignore the fact that the heavens existed of old, and earth was formed out of water, and through water, by the word of God. Through these the world, that then existed was destroyed, deluged with water. The present heavens and earth, have been reserved by the same word for fire, kept for the day of judgment and of destruction of the godless. 2 Peter chapter 3 verses 8 and 9 make two very important points. The false teachers, the scoffers, mocked the second coming of Christ when they ask, where is the promise of his coming? Verse 8 answers that question, but do not ignore this one fact beloved, that with the Lord one day is like a thousand years and a thousand years like one day. The scoffers also overlook God's infinite patience with humanity. Jesus is quoted in the Gospel of Matthew verse 36 as saying, But of that day and hour no one knows, neither the angels of heaven, nor the Son, but the Father alone. Why is God so patient with us? Verse 9, The Lord does not delay his promise, as some regard delay, but he is patient with you, not wishing that any should perish but that all should come to repentance. It is now over 2,000 years since Jesus ascended into heaven, people still wonder why Jesus hasn't returned. Ask yourself when God has ever failed to keep a promise? When has God ever fulfilled a promise exactly as human logic would dictate? Why has God delayed the second coming of Christ? I would argue the answer can be found in the Gospel of John 6 verses 37 through 40. Everything that the Father gives me will come to me and I will not reject anyone who comes to me, because I came down from heaven not to do my own will but the will of the one who sent me. And this is the will of the one who sent me, that I should not lose anything of what he gave me, but that I should raise it, on, the last day. For this is the will of my Father, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him may have eternal life, and I shall raise him, on, the last day. Advent, is a time of preparation. Have you considered how short your time here on earth really is? The church, is your pathway to the new heavens and the new earth. Have you chosen the right path? Life is short, and we have never too much time for gladdening the hearts of those who are traveling the dark journey with us. Oh be swift to love, make haste to be kind. Henri Frederic Amiel